In this video, you're going to see not only the final air intake for Dylan's LS3, but how we got there. When we started, we had some parts and only a vague idea of what we wanted to do. So we started with a trial fit, just trying to figure things out. If we use this tube as is, at least to here, it comes out, it really runs nice and parallel to the radiator, about just over an inch clearance, ton of clearance. I can stick my hand under here. There's no clearance problem to the fan. There's a ton of room to get to engine accessories if you need to work on them or check fluids or whatever. So what we're thinking is to chop this guy off, maybe about here, and then use this included elbow, clamp him on to the chopped off end, and then the elbow gives us a, like a really nice bend. We can use the chopped off part and join it to our GM factory air filter, which will have a ton of room in this air pocket. You know, as soon as this is pointing at a different angle with the elbow. All right, so we've measured, we've positioned our elbow where we want our elbow and right at the base of this clamping area, so right here, marked our spot. Now we get to figure out how to chop this guy. All right, we're ready to chop off our intake tube, and I have used a speed square and checked that my crossbar on this chop saw is 90 degrees, um, which is good because uh, when it was aligned with the zero mark, it was actually way off. So I'm just gonna, I've already slid it this way as far as I could so that we get the full depth of the chop saw. And now I'm going to chop about five inches off the end of this tube. Okay, so now we should have a very nice 90 degree cut across that tube. Um, you know, there's significant amount of lip on here, but we'll get that all off just using a file. We are gonna take our new, shorter, clean aluminum intake tube and we're gonna remount it to the engine. And then we're gonna try to go ahead with the rest of the plan you can feel it when it fully seats. So what I think it, you're going to want is it to bend a little but also bend down a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's probably about what you want, right? I mean, yeah, that's probably about what you want. We're going to be chopping again. Okay, so let's say, let's cut it down to about three widths. Three clamp widths. Yeah. Luckily, it doesn't have to be too precise. We are now setting up the PCB there. fresh air there. source. Here's the fresh air port. We're going to route right around here, go around this corner, and come right in here to this tube. Yep. <laughs> Silent Bob over here is, is uh, opening the mass airflow mounting boss that came with our LS3 e -Rod engine. And that's accompanied by the sensor. Let's see how that sensor fits. Mm. 
so this goes about like that. The induction system should be 4 inches in diameter and have a minimum straight section 6 inches in length. Mount the mass airflow sensor in the middle of the straight induction section, ensuring that the middle of the mounting boss is at least 10 inches from the throttle body. So... Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It wants it in the middle of that straight section. The mass airflow sensor must be oriented correctly in the induction system. Note the arrow on the sensor indicating flow direction. You see the flow direction? Yep, it's right, right there. Okay. It looks like that. Be sure to weld the, the mounting boss correctly. The sensor will only mount one way in the boss. Okay, half inch bit here. Okay, got it. Here is our aluminum intake tube before welding. There is a rectangular hole we've cut for the mass airflow sensor. There's a notch. You can see it right there. This thing is not symmetrical. Uh, compare the upper left corner and the lower right corner. They're different. We have drawn out in marker on our intake tube how it's supposed to be mounted and it will result in the mass airflow sensor mounting correctly and we have a little 3 8 nipple right here a barb that will mount right there like so and it will be at just the right position and angle to connect to our PCV system on the LS3 Here comes our newly welded intake tube. Dylan has put his elbow on a short section of aluminum and joined it to the air filter. And it's now sliding the whole assembly onto the newly welded intake tube. Although this little elbow did not come with our aluminum intake kit. It's something I got on eBay for about Fifteen dollars. So this air filter is not touching anywhere. There's no. It's not touching here. It's not touching the bottom. It's not floppy anymore like it was with the other elbow. Well, I have to say, it feels very, very rigid. Is there any kind of gasket that goes between that and that mounting boss? Well, it's on there. Can you show me? I can. Right there, around the edges. Okay, so we don't have to worry about leaks. Shouldn't. Okay. And we're using a couple of Allen head screws that came with our intake. They did not come with the Chevrolet Performance bung. And just in, in case anybody was wondering, we think that these are M4 threads. Put that about to there. And here is the finished product. Comments and questions are always welcome, and they help other viewers. Thank you for watching.